All right. If we're all ready to go, then. Merry Christmas. Uh, hold up. I I still gotta bring up the uh, the bingo board. But did you just say Merry Christmas? I sure did. Merry Christmas to you too. Ah, uh, thank you, thank you. Happy C New Year. CBD. All right, CBD. Are you gonna? Are you gonna? Are you gonna wish a Merry Christmas back? Or are you just gonna sit there? Um. Well, I feel like I didn't even get like a chance to say it, and then like now that I'm uh, being told to maybe say it, then I I don't really feel. Like oh, now you, now you don't want it. Okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, 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 I was you're, going you're to. You're that guy. You're like you're like I'm gonna do it, but you told me to. Now I don't want it. Hashtag bang lance in the chat, please. Sometimes it happens, right? Like, uh, like you, you, you're gonna do something, and then like someone says, like, "Hey, somebody you tells like, you to do it." You're like, "No, I'm yeah, not gonna do it." Yeah, hey, like, listen, uh, I'm I'm with you, CBD. I'm <laughs> I'm disagreeable as fuck. Uh, happy Hanukkah, though. Yeah, introduce. Yeah, happy Hanukkah. Yeah, yeah. I heckin' love Hanukkah. Do you? Nah, I'm not so Jewish. My friend was when I was uh, in like elementary school, so I, I I got to see a little bit of Hanukkah, but not much. I don't think I got to see any Hanukkah like ever. Yeah, actually, wow, what a what a sheltered life I live, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Just let me know when you have the bingo board up. I I do indeed have it up now. All right. Yeah, I see you in here now. Okay, so we're good to go. Oh, uh, Merry Christmas! Let's go. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I, I need some time. I'm I'm ready to go for for Christmas. All right. Let's <laughs> mer Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year, everybody. Good mm -hmm. luck. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right. Oh boy. Okay. We gotta. We gotta focus, dude. I. I. I had to rush to to put on stream. I was. Um. Thanks for the good luck, everyone. Thanks for the the kind words as well. I. I just got out of the shower, man. <laughs> I'm like, hmm. Should I? Should I take a shower? Like, I haven't really mentally prepared, but. Let's. I can do it. All right. So it looks like. Um. Ooh, this will be an interesting one, huh? Subles only, bosses that ride horses. So, this top one is, is Altus Heavy. One, two, three, four, five, six, um, seven, eight, nine, uh, About nine different altas, so um, it's looking like um, it's looking like altus is really important. Not even more skill swords. Interesting. Stormhawk axe is pretty much going to be what we got to go for, right? Yeah, stonehawk axe. Um. Yeah, just gonna go for that. Um, what do I need for it again? It's I, I I believe it's nineteen decks or something. Um, or is that the strength requirement? It's nineteen strength, fifteen decks. So I need three more decks and three more um strength. So six more levels. A like, is not really going to be the thing. So what's what's the uh, what's what's the what's the route here? Consumables only is is a good square to get right away. I think. Um. We have we have the strength slash dexterity. We don't have like that small of one. So. Okay. So row four. Uh, Rhonda, thank you so much for the for the prime sub. Thank you for the fifteen months. Um, row four looking like it's probably really important. Um, just because, there, I mean, row four and row five actually. What would Bushy go for? Like, like I, I would want to get consumables before him, right? 
Hmm. Hey, Pennywise. Because what she likes to do is he, he just likes to, you know, go for lions and then abandon them, right? So I'm, I'm going to have to be pretty wary about what he's going to be doing. Right, and... Yeah, these, these will be interesting. These will really be interesting. Bosses that ride horses, huh? So there is no tree bosses. Unfortunately, so, or fortunately, whichever <laughs> the result of the match is. We'll see. Okay. Get rid of that. Alright. I need three ducks and three strength. Shit, no. Nope. Good luck, thank you. Falling Star Beast and Somberstone, I just realized, are, are both on here. Killing Falling Star Beast uh, seems like it'd be a really good idea. Shoot, stream title. Oh, shoot. Yeah, you're right. I forgot to change it. Uh, damn. I, I don't know if I have a mod who can... Dude, yeah, you're right. I, I started stream super... <laughs> Fuck. And I can also let you not let wine of I am Carly. Uh... I don't have a mod here, do I? Thank you for saying something, Biscuits, by the way. We will get that sorted out soon. Hey, Hobo, are you here? 
I just made you mod real quick. <laughs> can you change my title to Bingo Brawlers? You can unmod yourself right after. Hey, man. I'm gonna go for first. I don't know if I should go for a gill first. It, it's it's exclamation point title. Had a sir, but you I can put turning to aid you. You need to the foot. Then summon me. Ah, I exclamation point title and then you um summon torrent. Treat him with Just say uh exclamation point or uh say bingo brawlers versus bushy. It doesn't have to be too fancy. I should have got, probably gone for painting rewards, right? Sorry, my, my mind is way too flustered. Although going to wet blades is kind of a good idea as well. I also also have to have a wieldable weapon. Um. Yeah, we'll see how this goes. I think you could change the game too. Yeah. Um. Wait, no, I can. Fucking kidding, right?
But she might have a point going for paintings like that. Um, we'll see, huh? We'll see. What's he going for? So if I was him, I'm, I'm either going for Crucible Knights or um, probably Earth Tree Avatars or Spirit Ash Summons. I think Spirit Ash Summons is the way because uh, I'll have a Grace that's fairly close to um, that's fairly close to Misbegotten Duo, right? Yeah, just stay mod, uh, Hobo. For now, at least. Shit, gotta go this way, this way, this way. Should I kill this guy? Absolutely not. <laughs> Absolutely not. <laughs> Thank you. 
I'm not gonna deal with that right now. Interesting. Um, I'm gonna have to. Oh, okay. Uh. Was it a somber for him? Doesn't really matter. I hate this game. Um, all right, yeah, I, I think, I think I got a good plan, I think, <laughs> we'll see. Might die. Yeah. I only have one Kukri. 
Um, I I feel like I have to make it to uh, Leonia like right now. Do I need this? I get it anyways. I maybe should have gone the other way. Come to think of it. Because Knight's Cab is, is the other way too, right? Uh, we'll see. hand. Nice. Got it, yes. I thought I thought that was a good one to get. I feel like there's too much altus on the board though.
Hey, Kojo, what's up? He's threatening three things right now, which is, you know, not that good, right? But... So I feel like I have to start threatening something, you know? That plus 12 weapon is kind of scary. I think that's why getting to Altus is so important. What do you mean, what am I even doing? If you're, if you're gonna have a provocative question, at least have it make sense. I'm going for wet blades. And killing, uh, killing, um, Red Wolf will give me ru or runes, and then, um, I have access to Altus through uh, the Abductor Virgin. And, um... I'd be able to get a plus... 7 weapon. In doing so. I, I mean, like... I don't know, I, I guess... Excuse me if I'm going too fast for you, I guess. Alright, sure, that, that works. Interesting.
fit to determine if you have. It seems torrent, whereas I'm there is, but I can take gathering. Uh So I played in Redmain. Yeah, no shit, huh? Do I have do I have time for that? I think I do, right? Is it quicker than going through Margit? No idea. <laughs> High key. Keep it a buck fifty. Yeah, this this is a synergist play, right? Which is why I decided to to go this route. It plays into a lot here. Um, it's it's to the left, right? Like w when w when you're when you're facing the the boss gate, it's to the left, right? In in that little uh, in that little room, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Dog didn't aggro. That's kind of lucky. So here I have to. I should get the grace first. Getting not getting the grace first is yeah yeah. Getting the grace first is the fastest thing to do. I'm pretty sure. No, I just wait here. Don't risk it. Yes, I do.
Uh, plus six, and then... And then we, I think we go to Noble. Doc. Well, then I presume. Wait, does this have... Shabash. Um... Uh... I, I need a shield. Do I... No, I, I need to parry. The only thing is, if he gets five horses, oh man. Uh, uh, where are we going? Um, what's up, Boston? How you doing? Crucible Knights is a really good play too. Uh, not memory spell. I want, um, Ash of War. And then level up. <sighs> Crucible Knights, dude. Crucible Knights. I mean, I, I feel like that's... You know what? Yeah, this is this is Bingo Brothers.
Okay, we'll go, we'll go. Uh, enter. I guess I forgot it earlier. Okay. Uh, let's drink it now. What? I I I'm not sure I'm I'm not sure what to do then. I I might just have to parry. It, uh or I I can ah oh, dude, I don't know. That that's a that's a really rough one. I, I feel like that RNG just wasn't really having it with me. I know I can parry it. But I don't think parrying is faster. Could be. Right, who knows. I wonder, I wonder if I should just parry. God's gonna help
The burn. <laughs> what a what a what an asshole, dude. <laughs> That's fine. That's really funny though. <laughs> I made the wrong call. Well, did I make the wrong call, though? It's amazing, I'm going for a noble was the play there. Damn, really unfortunate. Don't come near me, really? Alright, so... I'm thinking... Uh, plus 12. I set up a lot of things, game. Like really? Like come on dude, you gotta you gotta calm down.
Uh, what the heck is faster? What's faster? What's the fastest thing to do? Um... I don't have the runes. Yeah, this is, this is the best thing to do right here. That's a two. Oops. I still need twos, though. I wonder if he's going for Crucible Knights. Wait. Is he going for Crucible Knights? Shit, shit, shit. Oops. I have the gray striper for abductor versions.
Good job, Bushy. GG's. It was a 50-50, right? Good job, Bushy. I lost two 50-50s. Unfortunate. Uh, no, that's a 50-50 when it comes to Bushy. If you've been paying attention to how Bushy plays. Pipple, why would you say that? Pipple, why would you say that, dude? Like, why, why, why would your first message in my chat be very hostile? Really? No, really? Answer this question. Like, why? Why, why wouldn't you want to be a nice person? I, I, I don't understand. Hey Ashen. Anyway, so um no if, if you pay attention to how Bushy had played, um uh he he likes to threaten bingos and then he, he goes for something else, right? That's a 50-50. <laughs> right? Like like he it's he has he has like I don't think well, I mean he would have won anyway, because I, I wouldn't have had I wouldn't have had the the um the runes, I think. Because I, I would have had to collect plus threes and I would have had to go into I would have had to go into Rune Trim Precipice. I mean, I don't think it would have been that good, come to think of it. I don't know. Well, but yeah, it was two fifty fifties, because it was either I go for Crucible Knight Misbegotten or I go for Noble, right? Because if, if he would have gotten Crucible Knights, and then he, he... I don't know how far he was on horses, right? So... Let's see what he could work. It, it just... When, when, when it's your first message, like, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta slow it down, you know what I mean? Go again? No, this is Bingo Brawlers. There's another match after this. But yeah, um... I mean, like... Again, uh, I, I, it's, it's a 50-50. It's if I would have gone for Noble, it would have been fine, right? And I'm guessing he had the runes from Noble to, to be able to, to, to buy the runes. Yeah, you know what? That probably makes sense. He probably killed uh, Crystallion, got the bell bearing as well. He used the runes Welcome from Welcome in, CBD. GG's. GG's. Hi. Hi. Uh, Merry uh, Christmas, is so what she said earlier. <laughs> I'm sorry? <laughs> Nothing. Inside joke. Go on. Oh, I get it. <laughs> All right. Uh, uh, when it came to the match overall, uh, very interesting uh, choices. 
were made. Not like in a like in a, in a weird way or anything like that. Just like in general. I, I, <laughs> not not I'm, on I'm a really backhanded compliment. <laughs> no, 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 no. I, I really, really like the. Uh, like I, I noticed when I said interesting, it sounded kind of like weirdly passive aggressive. That's not what yeah. I meant. But what yeah, I meant you, like you, interesting. You meant to say like, like, like uh, ter terrible. <laughs> yeah. Uh, like the early Fongstar beats, I thought was a, a a great play. Like it's a very risky play, but making it early, I think, is so good because it really pushes that plus six somber weapon, and especially with Stormhawk Axe, I thought that was like a really Really, really good thing to do mm -hmm. um obviously risky but i thought it was like a really interesting play because you know it gives you like a really really strong front-loaded power to kind of build bulldoze the like mid to late game squares um the question i had here was you had everything pretty set, like set up very very nicely to go for god skin noble but then you pivoted off and went for for crucible misbegotten warrior duo i'm trying to understand why you made that choice uh in my head it was a 50 50 um so okay. It was either, so if you looked at it, if you look at the board, I'm guessing you have it on the screen, yeah. So if you look at the board, um, he had column two with two squares, and then he had the diagonal as well. So I was thinking, well, if if he gets the Crucible Knight square, I have no idea what he was doing throughout that time. So he could have had five horse bosses just sitting on it, and then he would have had Moog, and he would have done the bushy thing where he just leaves the fucking square open, right? But <laughs> and I, 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 yeah. I didn't want to be in that position. Uh, and then so I had to weigh it either I go for noble or I go for the crucible knight uh, misbegotten duo um, To put tempo on the crucible knights to block that bingo um, okay. and okay. It was it was just the, it was the wrong move so uh, Or it could have been the right move. I don't know how much time I lost on on dying two times or three times whatever it was, but uh, I don't know but I I just figured I I don't know. It, it was a 50 50 in my head. And then also, I guess I'm, at the end, although I'm, I'm pretty sure he would have beaten me to plus 12 anyway if I just went for it. So, gotcha. Yeah, I uh, I checked the Lyernia Halberd and it had the plus eight there. So, oh, yeah, well, I, I mean, yeah, I that's felt like I was pretty far ahead on that square. Yeah. That Interesting that you checked it. Good. I, I did it for the crystal darts for the duos. Mm hmm. And I was like, all right, I'm, mm. I'll guess I'll pick it up. Yeah. Like, oh, wait, that's really helpful. <laughs> yeah, that makes that makes that makes uh, sense for sure. Uh, so when it came to like, did you see? I'm assuming that you saw the diagonal though. But at that point, it was already Godskin Noble, Consumables, and Spirit Ash. So you only had you know Urge Tree Avatars and Smithing Twelve, uh, with both of them pretty hard to contest, I guess at that point. So, yeah, I I I, I it was just a. Uh, uh, a, a tough choice, you know, between uh, a duo in that case and Godskin Noble. Um, I, I when we when we were watching the match, we just saw the the powerful, the honestly, like really powerful column one for you, because if you got Godskin Noble, you already had then duo for Virgin Abductor would give you Altus access. You grab two quick uh, more uh, two other you know fights, uh, and then having Moog just as a a pretty tough you know square to block uh, would have been a, a pretty powerful. Uh, uh, move in that case too but uh the, the dual play makes sense as well I, I, since you, uh, exp you know, explain that that makes sense how much so. um further ahead on godskin noble prep was cbd a lot I yeah a lot he, he 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 pretty much he had the elevator he uh had everything set up and then he pivoted over to duo and then I think died there three times, which cost him quite a bit of time. But she did die to Noble once, I think, as well. Mm -hmm. um, but also died on the elevator because the the good old lizard didn't mm -hmm. want him to Kyle. go to Noble. <laughs> uh, but which would have uh, gotten CBD a little bit more time. Um, but yeah, like he, he he definitely had way more prep on on the Noble than than you did Bushy in that case. So. Do you remember where I was at when CBD could have started going to? Um, the abductor virgin. Uh, so after the after the wet blades, because after the wet yeah. blades, he killed Red Wolf and he had the elevator and everything. Yeah. Um, right uh, there, I would have been ten minutes. Of, I would have gotten it ten minutes earlier. <laughs> yeah. Okay. He, he, he would have had a lot of time on it. Um, to to get the Godskin in that case. Um, yeah, and he he didn't have to upgrade his weapon either. Right, right, yeah, because he got, I mean, he ran for a Falling Star Beast already and had the five from the Ravine, so he could have just gone straight to, to Noble, didn't have to grab the stones and then port back and do the whole back and forth thing. Um, but yeah, uh, 
Overall, a great match from both of you. A very fast match, but uh, a great match. Uh, really appreciate both of you playing. Yeah, GG, CBD. Yeah, GG, especially. Uh, and uh, um, uh, uh, fuck you, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Merry Christmas. Happy Hanukkah. <laughs> uh, happy Thanksgiving. With that being said, though, guys, we're going to go on a quick 10-minute uh, break. Bushy, are you okay with doing your next match in like 10 to 15? Is that okay with you? Oh, yeah, I'm good to go. I'm ready to play some games. All right, sounds good. We're going to go on a quick 10-minute break here. Uh, we'll get everybody else set up. Uh, I know Bree's going to go live. So 10-minute break, and then we'll go on to the next match. Thanks again, both of you guys, for playing this week. Really, really appreciate you. Uh, and we'll see CBD again tomorrow uh, for his other match. So yeah, hopefully uh, I good luck do, to you uh, tomorrow. Redon cheese tomorrow uh, and, and not get bingo too early. So. Yeah, sounds good, man. Sounds good. All right, I'll catch you guys later. Bye.